Meantime, a new push to make front facing cameras mandatory. The goal here is to alert drivers to the dangers they can't see. News of Connecticut's Marissa also reports. Peter, amazing little rascal. That's the only word I can think to describe him. Kayla Tinnan's youngest child should be turning 12 this month. Instead, Peter will forever remain five and a half. He died just a month before the end of kindergarten in a tragic accident May 12, 2016. Worst day of my life. Peter was playing in the driveway at his grandparents' house in Norwalk. His grandfather pulled in but couldn't see Peter from the driver's seat, hitting and killing him. There really is no way to make sense of it. Peter was one of 240 fatalities that year in what's known as a front over crash. According to the Department of Transportation, the number more than doubled in 2020. Many of the victims, kids like Peter. There's no question that the vehicles on our roads have just continually gotten larger. But this particular issue is about the, the idea that these very high hoods create these very large blind zones, not even blind spots, but blind zones. Consumer Reports tested 13 vehicles and found their blind zones ranged from almost three and a half feet for one sports car to 15 feet for one full-size pickup truck. News 12 visited the Consumer Reports Auto Test Center in Colchester to get a first-hand look. This 28 inch cone is about the size of maybe a walking toddler or what we found with the older kids is them sitting, maybe doing sidewalk chalk or something in front of the vehicle. So Engineer Jennifer Stockberger showed us three vehicles using a tape measure and with me in the driver's seat. She walked forward with the cone until I could see the top inch of it. My blind zones ranged from six to 11 feet. That's a lot of kids or certainly kids that are playing that could be in front of that vehicle and you as the driver just can't see them. Now Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal has proposed legislation to make front facing cameras or sensors mandatory in all cars. That technology is available but usually a feature you have to pay more for. So you can see this front view camera you know obviously our cone very visible right. you know. I can't see the cone at all from, from the passenger seat here. And if I'm sitting back here, mm -hmm. I can't. I have to literally sit up as tall as I can and I can see the very top of it. Right. We crouched down right in front of the bumper and the camera gave a very clear view. Right here. Again, your eye can't make this corner. A camera like that might have prevented the death of Kayla Tinnan's son. So many people think that something like this is a luxury. It could save thousands of little kids from getting hit by a car and families struggling through the misery and the heartache that it causes. Marissa Alter, News 12. And this bill from Senator Blumenthal is similar to one passed in 2008 to improve rear blind zone safety. That took about a decade to fully go into effect, but backup cameras have been required on all new vehicles since 2018 now.